y'all doing, girl? Guess what they talking about? They said, Monique, uh, she really... <laughs> Don't you know that? DJ, stop me. Don't you know that uh, apology she did a while ago? Uh-huh. Um, they said that the reason why she apologized, girl, because she wasn't selling no tickets. They say that theater room was empty. Look at this. Look, look, look. I'm going to show y'all. what. It, look at the article. The real reason Monique apologized. Monique and friends. Check this out. They said all the blues is available. So she didn't sell out. Uh, she didn't sell out no show. That show wasn't even half full. It wasn't even 75. It looked like it was 80% full. Shit. And all the empty seats unavailable. That's all it's, it's sold. But look at all that. And they say that she's an Oscar winner doing all that, child. Mm -hmm. All right, so here it is. It said apparently Monique's show in Raleigh was less than a half full in uh, the venue with 3,000 seats. She can't even pull 3,000 seats, y'all. How many seats did she pull? I don't know. I'm assuming maybe a lot of people canceled and got their money back when all that drama with her and DL, it did not add, you know, money in her pocket. It seemed like it took away. But I want to know what y'all think. So this article is pretty much saying the reason why Monique apologized because she was humble. She got on that stage and she realized ain't nobody was there. And she had to humble herself and apologize to change gears because she realized that her talking about DL family and kids and not being humble, she was losing money because people was canceling tickets left and right. And people said, well, we got to give her kudos for not canceling at the last minute. I guess that's what people do. When they realize nobody want to see their ass, they try to cancel. You know what I'm saying? But they say she didn't cancel shit. How could she when she kept on telling everybody June 19th, June 19th, she was going to go in. She ain't going to go in June 19th, so that was a damn lie because I was looking forward to I thought she was going to say something to Vivica Fox and other people. That's what she said, but uh-uh, child. And I read little comments. They said, well, at least she didn't cancel at the last minute, so points for that. You don't get no damn points for that. Why would I give you points for something that you should do? You know what I'm saying? You should you shouldn't cancel. You still got people coming there. Nah, y'all 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 got the standards so damn low. Y'all keep going low and low with the dang standard. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, who told her Riley was a good idea? Mm, well, she did it. Uh, some audience is better than none. Who's paying to see her spew hate? Well, hopefully it seems like people are changing around. They don't want to see comedians up here talking about hate stuff and just, um, you know, coming for folks. You know, have some witty jokes. Be funny. You know, just not hateful. It says Mo has the tough none in the class. Netflix didn't give her that much dough, and she still had to pay her lawyers. All right, so uh, comment, let us know. Everybody is weighing in on this, so you know I'm going to need y'all to weigh in, too. What they say? She couldn't even get paid. She couldn't get them asses in them seats of 3,000. She is done. All right, do y'all think she canceled? She can't even bring 3,000 people out? What's going on with that? Comment, let us know. People are saying cancel. You see that? Canceled. All right, comment, let us know what y'all think about this, and I'm sure that the comedian man... They don't care for her. They going to joke about this shit. All right, DJ, turn me up and get me on out of here. All right, turn, DJ. Come on, turn it up now. Turn it up.